I'm going to click on Drive. And here I am in my drive. The easiest thing to do uh, probably is to click on that search bar up at the top. And um, you don't even have to put in the name of the file or the folder. Just click on uh, where it says Folders. And you should see something called audio. And it should be up towards the top of the results because uh, I very recently uploaded your audio files if you recorded through Zoom. If you recorded through some other uh, software and then put that into Google Drive, you just need to find the folder where you put it. But if you worked through Zoom, um, I made these folders called audio. You're going to open up your folder and you've got all these different audio files that are in here. Um, these are just the people who recorded. You might see something that looks more like this um, because your files haven't been renamed. Um, so all right, let me work with this one because this is a little bit more like what you would see. So here are all the different audio files and to get them onto your phone, um, you have to do this for each individual file. I'm gonna click on the name of uh, the first audio file. I'm going to click on this one, audio only Matt. Clicking on that. And as it's loading, I'm clicking on the three dots in the top right corner. Brings up this little menu right here. And I'm going to do open in. And it gets it ready to export it out of Google Drive and into a, a format that can actually be used in GarageBand when you're doing your editing. So I'm gonna click on save to files. You might have to poke around a little bit to find that option. Um, I've been playing around with this all day, so um, that's why mine is visible. So I'm gonna click on save to files, and I'm just gonna save it to on my phone. That's the only place it needs to go. Um, if you wanna put it into a new folder, you can do that. Um, if you wanna dump it into, you know, like a GarageBand folder or something, you could do that. If you wanna use iCloud Drive, I don't, I actually don't know if it works with iCloud Drive, so you might be better off just saving it onto your phone if you have the storage. I'm gonna click on Save up at the top, and it's gonna get itself to where it needs to be. And I'll do that for uh, all of the other uh, audio files on here. I'm actually, for right now, just gonna do it with two, so I have two to play around with. And I'm going to save this one also by clicking on those three dots up in the top right corner. And I'm going to go to open in. And I'm going to do save to files again and hit save. 